AI is all over the place these days, and you're probably constantly hearing about it. But you may not realize how far the AI rabbit hole goes. Today, we're going to get into it with the AI iceberg. Level one, AI plagiarism. You've probably seen ChatGPT and other AI models that miraculously produce text that looks like it was written by a human. Sometimes it was written by a human. The New York Times is suing OpenAI because not only did OpenAI train their models on New York Times articles, but sometimes ChatGPT reproduces articles from the New York Times almost verbatim without attributing them. But text is not the only plagiarism worry from AI. We've also got art. Many artists and graphic designers are concerned because AI produces works that look like their styles. If AI produces something that looks just like an Andy Warhol, even though he never created it, is that a form of plagiarism? Should it have to attribute it to Andy Warhol? Or is it okay to remix and match his style? In my own work, I've seen AI plagiarism go the other way. We had a job applicant that submitted this very interesting paragraph about themselves and their life experience. I am a lifelong learner driven by curiosity and a passion for technology. My journey started as a computer enthusiast, tinkering with code and exploring the digital world. Over time, my fascination with AI and natural language processing grew, leading me to develop into a powerful language model. So we see that AI plagiarism can go in both directions. Sometimes AIs plagiarize people using their work without attributing it to them. On the other hand, sometimes people plagiarize AIs basing their work on what an AI produced without making it clear that an AI wrote it. Level two, AI bias and discrimination. AI is being used more and more for consequential decisions in our lives. For instance, some judges are given access to risk scores produced by AI that indicate how likely someone is to recommit crimes. People have expressed a lot of concerns about these algorithms because the training data may be biased. And if the data is biased, the AI may perpetuate biases, leading to unfair outcomes. If police are more likely to arrest black people than white people for the same crime, and AI is trained on the data from the police, it may indicate that black people are more likely to commit crimes, even if they're not. On the other hand, some people argue that while AIs have a danger of being biased, humans also are very often biased. And human biases may be harder to detect and fix than AI biases. Level three, AI wokeness. Sometimes attempts to remove bias from AI can go too far. For instance, when Google's AI image generation system was asked to depict US founding fathers, it depicted some of them as being black. Additionally, when asked to show German soldiers in World War II, it showed some of them as Asian women. So while it's absolutely true that AIs can be highly biased, and this can cause all kinds of problems, it's also true that sometimes attempts to de-bias them can cause problems all their own. Level four, disinformation. As you probably know, there are many powerful actors around the world that want to shape global politics. And sometimes they're willing to spread propaganda in order to do so. In 2014, there was an alleged explosion at a chemical factory in Louisiana. It was later uncovered that actually this was a complete hoax, and many people believed that Russia was behind it, using it as a test case to see whether they could spread misinformation online. Now, traditionally, these propaganda campaigns are done by people that work for governments. But fast forward to 2024, and you can have AI doing a lot of the work. So the US Justice Department recently announced that they disrupted a campaign by Russia that used AI bots to impersonate Americans in order to spread propaganda about Ukraine and other topics. As AIs get smarter and smarter, they get better at imitating humans. You can even imagine a situation where millions of fake social media accounts act just like humans most of the time, but then suddenly at the flip of a switch, all start spreading propaganda in a particular direction. Level five, AI is going to steal our jobs. Whenever a new technology comes out, there's always a danger that it replaces people's jobs because the jobs can now be done more efficiently with technology. For example, in the 1700s, when the spinning jenny came out, it produced weaving so much more efficiently than a person could do by hand that it started to replace many people's jobs. Famously, the Luddites were a group that would break into factories and destroy machines in protest of the replacement of human workers. Amazon attempted to push this forward in a big way to remove service workers in stores with their Amazon Go technology. The idea is that AI would monitor you as you walked around in a store, and every time you put something in a basket, AI would calculate how much it cost. That way, when you were done shopping, you could simply walk out of the store, never talking to a human being the entire time. In modern times, we see AI doing more and more every year, raising fears that it's going to increasingly replace people's jobs. We already see cases of copywriters who are having their work replaced with AI copywriting and graphic designers who are having their work threatened by AI image generation.
So how deep does the AI iceberg go? We covered a number of topics like AI misinformation, plagiarism, wokeness, bias, and people losing their jobs. Believe it or not, we're only halfway through the AI iceberg. You're gonna have to come back for part two to hear the rest.